I had some requests about red lipstick and how to choose the right color for yourself. We're not gonna talk about undertones today. We're not gonna try and find out if we have a cool undertone in our skin or warm undertone. Uh, let's make it easier. Look at that part of your arm. You see veins, right? If you don't see them, then probably you're very tan or you have very dark skin. In that case, when you're trying the lipstick, check your teeth. If your teeth look whiter and healthier, then this is your best shade, obviously. And it's not always a cool undertone, I would say. On some girls, I've seen that yellowish reds, orangey reds, make their teeth look healthier than cool tones. So, it's not the case. So you should always try and see. If you see your veins here, this is what you can do. Go to a shop and find any red lipstick. Apply it on your veins. Better with your finger. Apply several ones to compare. If you suddenly see that your veins disappeared a little bit or disappeared completely, they became invisible or almost invisible. So this is probably your best red shade. Let's do it together. So you can see my veins now. I'm picking four colors. Two of them are red crayons. Another two just two red lipsticks. One of them is pretty light and orange definitely warm color. I'm gonna apply it and see if my veins get disappeared. So we can see that they're not disappeared. Let's try another one. This is pretty bright red and it's pretty warm. Looks better, but still I can see my veins. Let's try this color. Looks also warm to me, but looks more to the neutral side. I can see that my veins pretty much disappeared comparing to other two. Okay, let's try now the cool red. And I can still see my veins here, so my choice would be this Sephora color. And another tip, when you come to a shop and you try loads of different lipsticks, one after another, you're rubbing your lips all the time. You have to clean your lips before you apply next one. When I'm trying third one or fourth one, I stop understanding the color. So sometimes what I do is I ask them to give me some makeup remover so I would do it gently and then I just apply some powder and also or some very thin foundation. I also ask them to give me one. Also pay some attention on how the color looks on your lips when you have no foundation on. On how your skin looks with that particular red. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!